Hello guys, welcome back to Coding Cafe. My name is Mohamed Ali and in the previous video tutorial we have created and designed this sign up form. And also we have assigned names to uh, all over these fields, okay? So now what we are going to do that is in this video, uh, first of all we will uh, get the input from a user and then we will uh, work on it further. So let's start it, okay? So first of all, whenever the user click on the sign up button, then we want to uh, retrieve the, I mean to uh, get the data from the first name, last name text boxes and the email text box. So you, uh, I just click on the sign up button, double click on that and it create this event handler for, uh, event handler for me, which is the click uh, event handler for a button. So first of all, let's create the attributes for our, this class. Okay, so I can simply say public since you know that we will be sending the data from the uh, sign up form to the other form which you will create now which is our confirmation form so the easy way to send data from one form to the other form is to create static variables or you can say static attributes or in case of methods we can create the static methods okay so i can simply write here static string the first one is the uh, first name so we can say f name and then we can copy paste it for the other ones which is our last name so here we can simply say l name and then we have the email address so we can say email address since you know that we have also uh, the check boxes so the check boxes will either be tick or uh, false so for the checked purposes as you know that we use uh, boolean data type okay so we can say boolean and also this one will be boolean and make sure to change both of these the first one will be sms which is for the sms notification and the other one will be the reports and let's create another one for the transactions sorry for that paste that here okay so it will be transactions and remove this email address okay we uh, passed that twice now first of all what we gonna do is that is whenever a user click on this uh, sms notification when he mark this then we should display the message that is uh, service charges may apply okay and also for the transaction report so for doing that what we gonna do is i will simply double click on this okay first of all let's check if we have yes we have give it names okay so double click on this and you can see check sms uh, check changed so first of all uh, let's complete this okay then we will move to it okay for the first name last and email address so that's why i just left this uh, button sign up click for now we will work on it uh, later once we complete this so if a user click on that then you can say ch K SMS dot checked so if this is true you can also write this like that okay which is T R U true or also you can just write this check SMS dot checked so if this is true then uh, we can assign true value to our this variable boolean type variable so you can say true and if it is true then we need to uh, access our label which is label sms message dot text and we have to display a message there and that message will be services charges may apply so yeah that's it and in case if it is false then in that case we can also display something so copy this paste that here and here we can say false and change this to dots and now go to the form and let's do it for the reports okay so if you want to uh, display any message uh, in the report case then you can do so by that what I'm going to do, I will simply copy this and I'll pass that here and make sure to change this check SMS to check reports and this will be report 
report what is the name of our variable is reports so copy this reports variable from here and paste that here and the next thing is our there is uh, we do not want to display any message here okay so we can remove this from here but if you want then you can create any label there and then uh, set any uh, text message to the user by using just like we did here okay so it will be true and in case of false we can say reports equals to false and remove this from here now the next one is the uh, transaction report so you can simply click on double click on that and now here copy this one okay because here we need to display the message so make sure to change this first to chk transaction and it will be transaction equals to true and the label for the transaction is lbl transaction message and for it we can say for the first one you can say service charges may apply for sms and here we can say service charges may apply for transaction and yeah and here we can say transaction and change this LBL SMS message to it so yeah that's it now let's run the app to see how it works so the app is running now and now let's click here and here you can see service charges may apply for SMS and if I click here service charges may apply for transaction let's uncheck this and here you can see that so what I'm going to do is to assign I mean to make this little bit beautiful so I will give it some color to this so here you can see we have this four color click on that and click on this web and from here you can choose any color which you like I will simply click on this light salmon okay and also change this for here I mean here web and light salmon so yeah that's it now let's run the app so the app is running now and let's click here so here you can see the service charges may apply and also for the transaction you can see service charges may apply for transaction so uncheck this uncheck this you can see that it is amazing this is incredible so yeah that's it for this video and if anyone is new to our channel then please subscribe our channel recording cafe thumbs up for this video and see you guys in the next video bye for now